Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. For everywhere we look, we see his hand of creation. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Galatians 5, starting at verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Here Paul is talking to the Galatians about what our lives should look like. You see, if we live by the Spirit, if we live by God's uh, choices, by God's ways, then our life produces good things. At the same time, if we're living by the sinful nature, our life produces bad things. Or, or negative things or, or negative consequences i know that this side of heaven uh it's tough to be perfect as far as the worldly uh attitude of, or, or perspective of perfect perfect means to uh and the, from the world's perspective would mean to be without sin without failure yet from god's perspective to be perfect means that we are living the life we've been called to live it doesn't mean that we don't uh, make mistakes at times it doesn't mean that we don't fail at times at times we do and when we do we have to confess and we have to repent of those things at the same time we do believe in entire sanctification where the, the will to sin that drive to sin like if your car is in drive push you towards it um, is given over to God and we become totally God we become entirely sanctified as we say and we no longer have that desire within us but that doesn't mean that the sin uh, doesn't or the temptation doesn't creep into our lives the devil's always there to try to tempt us the devil's always there to try to trip us up um, he's there to remind us of our past and he's there to, to tell us these things all because he wants to separate us from God not because he loves us but because he hates God of course we all know that uh, but the idea here is that we should be able to look at our lives and see who's in control we should be able to look at our lives by what's being produced and see if we're really living by the spirit or not oftentimes we're looking to to be evaluated you know how do i know for sure if i'm living by the spirit well here's these fruits of the spirit that would say to you these should be coming from our lives and if not then let's go to god and and, and look to him and see how we can fix those things i like that the verses that talk about us being a new creation in christ that the old has passed away and the new has come i know i said before but we can't get away from the earthly consequences of our actions but we do not have to give them into them for the future we do not have to keep doing them. God will set us free. God will forgive us. God will remove them, our sins from us, and they get placed on the back of Jesus Christ. That's why he had to die on a cross, so that we could be restored to God. God will not hold them against us. We should not hold them against ourselves. We should put that, side, that life aside and live for Christ. Won't you live for Christ today? Won't you live by his spirit? Won't you seek to have these things come out of your life? Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the awesome opportunity we have to serve you. Thank you for your forgiveness and for being a, for us being a new creation. Thank you, O God, for removing our sins from us uh, and placing them on the back of Jesus. Not that we wanted him to suffer or that we enjoy that he suffered, but because of your love for us and your idea of restoring us to yourself. Father, help us now to live by your spirit. Help us, Lord, that these things may flow from our lives, not for our glory, not so that we could be proud or envious or, or these things that Paul talked about, but so simply we can serve you and others will see your love. May you become more as we become less. Father God, today we just pray you'd bless those who have special needs, bless those with cancer or other diseases, bless those fighting the, the COVID-19 virus, uh, bless those, Lord, who are struggling mentally uh, with addiction and other mental issues, and bless those, Lord, struggling financially. May your hand be upon each one um, as you see fit, and may your name be glorified. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. God wants to lead you with his spirit. And God wants these things, uh, these idea, these uh, <laughs> blessings, if you will, to flow from your, your lives, these fruits of the spirit to flow from your lives. Have a great day. Uh, we love you. We'll see you tomorrow.